This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Hello, this is the Christine Williams Moment brought to you by the Glazov Gang. Etymology narrative has become part of the accepted norm in our culture. It preys on white guilt and dominates public discourse with something that goes like this. You are colonialists, you are racists, you have violated human rights, and you deserve whatever punishment you get. Unfortunately, leftist ideologues buy into this punishment theme and have been virtually taken hostage by it. A dangerous problem is that the victimology narrative is an ongoing weapon used by jihadists and by those who materially benefit by fostering an us versus them rhetoric. Here's an example using the Black Lives Matter movement, which has been teaming up with Islamic supremacists. Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan has stated, so I say to the sisters and brothers and Black Lives Matter, keep on pushing and we're with you and don't let anyone cause you to change your narrative. In 2015, Farrakhan called for the murder of police in the name of Islam. He stated with passion at Mount Zion Baptist Church in Miami, amid cheers and applause that he was looking for 10,000 men in the midst of a million who say, death is sweeter than continuing life under tyranny. He preached to that church in Miami that the Quran teaches persecution is worse than slaughter and that if the federal government won't intercede on our affairs, then we must rise up and kill those who kill us, stop them and kill them. Farrakhan is a leader, one of many, who was trusted among his following, a black following that has been indoctrinated into a cycle of hopelessness and helplessness, who has been disempowered by, you can't do, you can't escape the ghetto, and if you try, which many blacks do and succeed, then you are an Uncle Tom. And if you're deemed a traitor to your community, then woe be unto you. In America, many black communities are being indoctrinated using the victimology narrative to rise up in rage and violently intimidate the so-called oppressors. They unite in the common theme of hating America. With the merging of the Nation of Islam with Black Lives Matter, a deadly duo has emerged where rage, failure, low self-esteem, and hate merge into a purpose, the purpose of holy war against the infidel, deemed to be the oppressor. Jihad becomes the way and martyrdom the highest goal. Leaders like Farrakhan and jihadist preachers fan the flames of discord for their own profit and power. Farrakhan is a disgrace to his community and to the memory of Martin Luther King. Man was born into barbarism when killing his fellow man was a normal condition of existence. He became endowed with a conscience and he has now reached the day where violence toward another human being must become as abhorrent as eating another's flesh. Well, Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam now teaming up with Black Lives Matter are teaching their following to devour the flesh of Americans in hate and anger, forgetting conveniently that a black president was elected for two terms and that many blacks have arisen to high positions of power all over America and in other Western nations. The victimology pushers and profiteers like Farrakhan won't tell their following that 90% of black homicide victims were killed by other blacks. Farrakhan and his cronies are the false heroes of their communities. They represent deceptive voices of encouragement using violence and hatred as empowerment. They collect mass donations even from the poorest of the poor for their role as leaders. These leaders are the owners of production of the victimology narrative business, and that will not change. There have been people dreadfully harmed by racism in the past, and their pain is being exploited 
by charlatan leaders who were well versed in strategies and cultivating rage and harnessing it to their own advantage. And now many leftists have joined in to exploit, swindle, and peddle guilt to the broader society rather than concern themselves about real modern day issues of racism. Leaders who peddle the wares of victimology know that the West, when it wakes up and unites and says, this is enough, we stand for human rights, we have evolved, we have opened our doors to vast immigration, sometimes to our own detriment. We no longer represent our past sins and we have a constitution to prove it. We also reject your guilt. We also reject those of you who promote your Sharia law. Once the West declares this, the gig is up for these predators. The first black Miss Alabama, who was blessed by America to have a significant voice, used that voice to say that she was not upset by five police officers who were murdered in Dallas, but instead call the killer a murderer. Her words are reminiscent of the jihadists in the Palestinian territories that celebrate the death of innocent Israelis and glorify the Mujahideen as martyrs. It is time to move to the current day where it is important to note a few points. The West has progressed. It is also made up of a multitude of immigrants that don't complain their lives away in bitterness. Racism and discrimination also exist between cultures and within cultures. It is also time to realize that Islamic supremacists are very discriminatory. They see themselves as superior to every race and creed. Another term that is used as a lethal weapon against us is Islamophobia. Canada passes an, an anti-Islamophobia motion in Parliament, a dangerous precedent, and the first step in witch hunts against truth-tellers of Islam. Islamophobia is an engineered term to beat down critics. Beware, there is a thriving, money-making, power-making, guilt-inducing, Western-subjugating catch-all. It's the business of victimology. Westerners are no longer colonialists. We have democratic constitutions that have evolved to protect human rights and dignity, unlike in Islamic states. We have freedoms and human rights to protect all, which includes peace-loving immigrants and minority groups. Thank you and have a great 2017. An important word, please support the Glazov gang at jamieglazov.com and make sure you are subscribed to the Glazov gang YouTube channel.